In this tutorial, we're going to learn about predefined profiles. First, let me undock the predefined profile toolbar. Our first tool is the rectangle profile. As you see, a rectangle is defined by width and height. Okay, let's delete this. Our next tool is an oriented rectangle. First, I'll define the base. As you see here, the width and angle specs are listed above. Second, I'll define the height. As you can see, the rectangle is constrained by two parallelisms and a perpendicularity right here. Okay, let's delete this one. Our next tool is a parallelogram profile. First, I'm going to define the base, then the height, and the angle. And you see the geometry is constrained by two parallelisms. Let me delete it. The next predefined profile is an elongated hole. First, I'll define two central points. And next, I'll define the radius. You see that the geometry is constrained by four tangencies, an offset, and a parallelism right here. OK, let's delete it. Next, we have a cylindrical elongated hole. First, we define the circle. Next, we define segments of the circle. Now I'll define the radius. And here is our elongated hole. These two circles are concentric. As you can see, another constraint are the four tangencies and the radius. Let's delete that geometry. The next tool is the keyhole profile. First, let's define two center points. Next, the small radius. And lastly, the bigger radius. Let's delete that profile. Okay, our next predefined profile is a hexagon. Here, I define the size and the orientation. Click. Okay, you can see here that a hexagon is created by three circles. Delete it. Next is a center point rectangle. Choose the center point. And from this point, I will create the rectangle. As you can see, the geometry is constrained by parallelisms and equidistances. Okay, let's delete that. The last tool is a centered parallelogram. Now, before I show you how it works, let's create two lines. Deselect. Now, let's select the first line and the second line. And you can see the side of this parallelogram parallels the lines that I just created. This parallelogram is constrained by parallelisms and symmetry. This concludes our tutorial on predefined profiles.